Welcome to the Great Labs Tech Pick series. Today we're going to be looking at how to schedule and unschedule a CCI service provider rack rental. Now the first step we're going to do is go to the Internet Work Expert member site. Click here and we just go ahead and log in. Uh, it takes a few seconds to sign in here. And when it signs in we get presented with our dashboard. And the main tab we're interested in is this Rack Rentals page right here. So we click that. We get an overview of how many tokens we have. So currently I have 200 tokens. Um, we get some other information here. And if we don't have any tokens, we can use this Buy Tokens link right here to buy tokens. Uh, so the, the link we're interested in here is uh, the launch the service provider Rack Runner Scheduler. So when that comes up, we see Schedule here. I don't know if you can see all that. Um, but there's a couple main things on the schedule that we're interested in and uh, anything in red with this around the session is unavailable sessions so it says for today S3 and S4 are unavailable uh, anything in green are available sessions that we can rent and next to the session number is the amount of tokens that it's going to cost to schedule that session so um, and up on the top left, we have the total number of tokens we have, how many we've spent so far scheduling, and how many tokens are remaining. So if we hover over a session, say for example S1 on May 31st, uh, we see that the session starts at 3 a.m. Pacific time. So we'll go ahead and book out these two sessions. So the total cost of 30 tokens, so we see that up here as, as well. It's 30 tokens spent. So we just scroll down and click Schedule. Now we get a confirmation page showing that we have scheduled two rack rentals um, for service provider on May 31st and these rack rental sessions are five and a half hours each. Um, after we have scheduled the session we can go back to the rack rentals tab on our dashboard and we see that the tokens have been updated we now have 170 tokens available and if we scroll down even further we can see the access information so we're going to be on SP rack 3 uh, for both sessions and the password is the same so if we look at the rack rental access information get a new tab here with this detailed access information connecting to these service provider racks. So we close that and uh, now we have up into 72 hours before the session starts to actually unschedule at no cost. So we'll go ahead and do that and let's click here to reschedule a rack session and we see our current balance and our upcoming sessions. So if we check these two that we previously scheduled, we can see that we're going to be refunded the entire amount of 30 tokens, and after the refund, we'll have 200 tokens remaining. So we click reschedule, and we'll get drop back to the dashboard here. And uh, if we click rack rentals, we'll get two sessions. Two sessions were ses successfully refunded, um, and these are the two sessions we scheduled earlier. And that's it for uh, scheduling and unscheduling CCIA service provider rack rentals.